Okay, good evening everyone. It's been a rough kind of evening, <laughs> rough day with doing all of the groceries, cleaning, cleaning up while I'm putting things away, prepping all of this food. As you can see here, I have my meals, some of them. You can see some of them here, put up some. And this is the tuna salad eggs are right there I don't have very many of those uh, after cooking them I realized I was gonna put a lot in the tuna still got to make my salad and yes the game has started already so just got out of church and I'm sitting here at our normal stop we stop at Jason's Deli almost every Sunday after church um, because my husband has to have a baked potato and my son has to have a taco salad every Sunday <laughs> almost every Sunday after church but I'm sitting here waiting for them to pick up their food no I do not cook a big Sunday dinner we usually eat out on Sundays and um, I do cook I do my meal prep on Sunday afternoons um, but Jason's Deli here is a popular hangout for churchgoers so I'm watching a big family go into there right now and uh, people go there after service there most Sundays. But yeah, I'm, I'm people watching. And people are looking at me like, who the heck are you talking to? <laughs> but um, it's a, a nice Sunday day here in Tampa, Florida. And um, we are lucky to have our church service early in the morning so we're usually done before noon because it's about 11 40 right now and uh it's a great beautiful not a beautiful day it's kind of cloudy um on a sunday and not cold um, our winters are usually for a week. We had a pretty long winter uh, here this week, but um, it's very nice here in Tampa, Florida. But um, I would like you guys to, to give me some things that you would like us to talk about. Um, if you'd like me to see me do more vlogs and give you more details into our lives, I'm, I'm open to that. As you can see, I got some new glasses. I'm not sure how I'm feeling them though but I can see so much better <laughs> it's amazing but um yeah give me some comments on what you'd like to see on our vlogs and um, give you a little more in-depth into our lives we want to share and show what 31 years of marriage has done for us love you talk to you guys later I may go, I think I'm going to go for a walk later on. I have to pick up my groceries from Walmart. And then I have to make meal prep. I do meal preps. I may show you my meal preps. I, I think I will vlog my meal preps tonight of what I cook. But um, I usually prepare two different meals um, for the week and put them in little, you know, serving dishes and serve up. That's a way of kind of controlling our eating portions but I do that on Sunday nights and uh, prepare things so that I don't have to cook every single night when I get home from work it's been wonderful but, and also that like to help with uh, weight loss okay so again I'm gonna uh, show you a meal prep and then the 
do a few new things this week. I'm probably going to go for a walk later today. And I'll bring you guys along. Talk to you later. Peace out. Hello. Well, as I told you, I have to pick up my groceries today. Um, we went home, had a little lunch. And everybody else is napping. <laughs> Mommy is getting ready to go pick up groceries and do a little, uh, run a few errands. And then I have to come back. And then I'm going to uh, prepare uh, meal prep. Do meal prep for the week. So everybody else snaps doing after church and... <laughs> during the time but also remember today is uh february the third and it's super bowl sunday so i want to go get this done get back prepare my meals prepare my meals so that i can watch the super bowl it's the finale of football season folks gotta get it in not too happy with the football season this year. Um, give me a second to get out here. It uh, wasn't a stellar year for my Buccaneers, nor my Seminoles for Florida State. So, most certainly didn't watch a whole lot of Florida State. <laughs> I just can't watch the whole game when they they really suck. I'm sorry. I love my Seminoles and I love the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers are, did okay. I guess, you know, I, I don't think the owners uh, think they did okay because, of course, the owners fired the coach, which, my opinion, I think is silly because they, they're constantly hiring and firing coaches and don't give coaches any time to uh, really create a team. They, the long, last time they gave a coach a time to create a team was uh, with Tony Dungy. And we see what happened there. He created the team and right as they were at peak time and ready to be the best and win the Super Bowl, they fire him. And John Gruden gets the credit for what Tony Dungy created. Everybody knows that. But um, that's the way it goes with football, uh, professional football at least. Most of the time with uh, college football, they do give them a little bit longer. That's the way I feel. They give them a little bit longer, but they still are not, um, I'm trying to fix my camera here a little bit. They still don't, uh, allow them to, to, to stay with the team, except for like with Bobby Bowen. Bobby Bowen stayed there and he, he had ups and downs, did awesome. And then right at the end, he wasn't really ready to retire. They just kind of made him retire so gonna watch the Super Bowl and right now I'm on my way to Walmart not going in the Walmart I don't do that anymore as I told you I'm only going there to um, pick up my groceries that I ordered online not sure if I'm going to do a haul for you all today or not. We'll see. We'll see. I need I need to be speedy today. So, cuz I got to get all my stuff done so I can watch the Super Bowl. So, we'll see how I am on time and if I'm going to do a haul. To let you see what I bought. Go ahead. It's still kind of gloomy here today. Not a sunshiny day. Feels like a fall day. Fall for Florida. Don't, don't really 
have winners. But I'll be back. Hello. Well, I made it to the Walmart in the grocery pickup section. Doesn't seem to be anybody else waiting here but me, so shouldn't take that long. Again, Walmart online ordering and grocery pickup. The pickup is free. So you can order all your groceries and even some items that, you know, like if you need some kind of makeup, vitamins or something like that, you can order all of that online and just go and drive up here in the orange section here at Walmart and they will bring it out. Here's the little sign. So, I just got here. I've had my order pickup read scheduled for um, 2 p.m. And they usually text you about five minutes till before um, it, to come uh, before the time. And then you check in and let them know you're on your way. And here they come. They bring it out to your car. You don't even have to get out. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Glad good. to have you. You had um one, two, two substitutions. Okay. The carrot broccoli and almond snack, six point five ounce. We gave you carrot broccoli ranch. I guess we cheddar. They didn't have the almonds on. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the um, Zephyr Hill sparkling water, lemon, 16.9 ounce bottles. We gave you natural spice lemon water beverage, 16.9 ounce bottles. Okay. Zephyr Hills. Okay. That's fine. Alright. Would you like me to back seat or just Um How about just putting it in the back seat? That'll be fine. Okay.
Yeah, my name is Tucker. You receive a survey and email to how your experience was, and hopefully everything will be great for you. Okay. Thank right, you, Tucker. Have a great day. You have a good one, too. So, as you can hear, I had two substitutions. I had ordered a a prepared fruit and uh, veggie with some nuts thing that I was going to take for work. That was a substitution, which was fine because they had the, 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 they had it, but it just doesn't have nuts in it. The other substitution was sparkling water. I asked for um, Zephyr Hill sparkling water. They did not have that. So they substituted and gave me um, Nestle's sparkling water, which is fine. Nestle's is, is pretty good. People drive like maniacs through this parking lot like it's the freeway. And then people walk like I'm not driving a vehicle. You don't need to get out of the way. You know, you hear about people getting hit and things happening. And you don't want to say <coughs> it's always their fault. But when I was growing up, my mom taught me how to cross the street and how to walk in a parking lot you need to get out of the way as quickly as possible for a vehicle that is moving but nowadays people just walk and expect you to get out of their way and wait for them I know the pedestrian does have the right of way but that don't mean a damn thing if that car hit you having being right and being having a broke leg is I mean you can be right and have a broke leg sitting in the hospital when it comes to a vehicle and a body the vehicle is going to win so I was always taught as a child when crossing the street, you look both ways and make sure it's clear. If it's not clear and the person is letting you go or you see you can run in front of the vehicle, go as fast, like I said, run. <laughs> go as fast as possible. Don't just, oh, da, 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 and people just lollygag like, like it ain't nothing. They walking in front of a big car. And people do it. I've, I've, you know, in the last two years, there have been two incidents where people do it and they have a child in a stroller. Not only are you putting your life at risk, but a child. Don't take the chance, especially if you have a child. I don't know. We're living in a different world and parents are not mature enough to teach their children properly or they are mature enough and they just don't care. Uh, they just want, they just tell, well, you do what you want to do. So that's the world we live in. But the parking lot at there is always crazy. But the Walmart pickup was fine. Uh, there's a gentleman that does it on Sundays. I, sometimes I go on, I pick up on Saturdays or during the week and there's usually young ladies that handle it. <coughs> the gentleman is fine, but I find that he doesn't pack his groceries as well as the ladies do. And last week, he, I, I, I got jelly and it was in a glass jar and he didn't double pack it and it was heavy so therefore the bag ripped while I was taking it in the house and I have tile floors 
and it fell on the tile. So that was one thing that I I, I, I found with him. I guess I should have told him today, uh, but I'm not. I, I don't like to, <laughs> to talk about that with people and tell them their downfalls. But I guess I should. I will next time. I didn't think about it. But um, it's the same gentleman that was last week. And granted, last week it was freezing cold and raining when I did this. And today it's cool and cloudy. So it's a better day. Right now I'm going to stop at the dollar store pick up a few items that I can't get at Walmart I won't be taping in here I never tape in stores anymore because we kind of got it's busy here scolded one time because we were taping in the grocery store shopping and the guy says, you need to have permission to do this. So, I don't like to tape in people's store anymore. Because it is a public place and I guess you need permission. So, I'm here and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I don't know what happened. I think my camera just kind of tanked out on me. But, um back to what I was saying. I picked up an amazing gray rug to go along with my new kitchen color of gray, white, um, and a few black. But I did leave my um, appliance. I'm not going to get rid of my microwave because it's relatively new. Um, and I have a red coffee maker but I, I got rid of that. <laughs> so we have a black Keurig now. The coffee maker was relatively new, so I took that into work, and uh, the girls and I, we set up a, a little coffee stand in our work area, so the coffee maker is getting used, but I don't um, have a red coffee maker anymore. So there are basic tones of red. My kitchen is red white and gray with black. I have the black Uric. Um And uh, we have a, a our stove is gray. It's well silver. You know the silver appliances. My goal is to within the next few months to get a new refrigerator. Now my husband is on this kick. Well the one we have isn't broken. So why do we need a new one? We need a new one because I want everything to look alike. <laughs> we need a new one. <laughs> so, but I'm probably going to do that on my own. Since he's not on board with that. <laughs> he eventually comes on board with the, with me on that. But, um, and as you know, you know, we have our back and forth thing. But anyway, I got a gray. <laughs> I'm getting away, going away, buddy trails. Why do you want to let me do that? bunny trails but back to the kitchen I got a rug and then I picked up a few other things like um, snacks for the week peanuts um, chicharrones more protein stuff that we can snack on um, my girl I don't know if any of you know but they have pork rinds that are microwavable so you can make them fresh and pop them in the microwave and the only place that I have been able to find them is at the dollar store so I buy I bought some for myself and I bought a supply for my my friends at work too because nobody else can find them we they had them in our uh, we have a, a uh, cafe like thing they have them in the cafe at work but they're nearly like two dollar two fifty or something like that that's ridiculous when you can get them for a dollar at the dollar store 
So I bought a supply of those for work as well. Now I'm at home backing in so we can get the groceries out. Like I told you, I really want to do a haul for you all today on what I bought, but I, I'm time pressed because I gotta, I gotta be ready for that game tonight. I want to watch some football. My last hurrah of football is tonight, so we'll see how it goes with me. I gotta do my meal prep and um put these all these groceries away so i'm probably not gonna do a haul i know my husband's gonna yell at me because hauls do very well on fate on uh youtube people like to see for some reason what you buy at a grocery store <laughs> this youtube thing is wow but uh let me know how you like my new glasses I, like i said i'm not too sure i'm comfortable with them yet and no, I didn't do cut my hair yet. <laughs> I'm not. I'm still debating on that. We'll see. I I haven't had my hair this long since I was like in my first year of college, and I don't think it was this long then. So I'm kind of liking the length. You know, it's getting long. I did lighten it up. I don't like the black, so I did lighten it up. And you can see I have some streaks in it. But okay. Let's go. Hello. I promised you guys that I would show you a few of my meal prep things. Right now, I'm making some yellow rice in my rice cooker and boiling some eggs in my oven here. Have some chicken breasts. boiling eggs because I usually make either egg salad or tuna salad um, to have in, I make a big bowl of that so that my son and my husband can make those for lunch make sandwiches and stuff like that I also leave some eggs just in a container so that if you want to grab a snack you have a good protein snack to grab and eat um, we're really trying hard, well I am, <laughs> I'm trying hard to maintain uh, more protein and less carbs. Um, I eat carbs, but I eat them only at a certain time of the day, and as I told you also on my blogging that I'm doing uh, intermittent fasting. So. This week, I'm really starting to streak down on it. I'm going to do, uh, what is it, 16, 8? No. <laughs> yeah, 16, 8. I'll fasting 16 hours and 8. And then um, one lady suggested 20 and 4. So you have a 4-hour eating window. And... <laughs> And fasting for 20 that's a little hardcore for me right now so I'm doing 16 8 and have an eating window and um, I'm able to eat like from 3 till 9 and uh, I'm not losing weight right now but I'm not gaining and that's the main thing is for me to learn to eat differently right now I'm just learning to eat differently and I've been managing that for a year now. And um, and I won't say have cheat days, but I just have days when I have a longer eating time frame. And um, so like, say on my birthday, I ate cake. On Christmas Day, I ate cake. But every day, every day of the week having sugary snacks and all that stuff is no longer for Debbie. Not only does it help me maintain my weight and, and stay healthier with not being going into diabetes, but it also helps to um, with the arthritis because I have inflammation really bad 
and I learned that that was some of the reason why I had the knee problems and all of that. If I can stay away from, from hot, a lot of sugar products, the pain is not there. So, learning gradually. It's taken me 50 years, but I'm learning. <laughs> I'm doing better. And my doctor is happy with it. So, that's the main thing. I'm healthy. So, this is just the beginning of my meal prep. I will show you periodically of little things that I'm doing. And um, be back shortly. Thank you. Okay. We're getting there with my barbecue chicken breasts. I'm gonna make barbecue chicken breasts. I'm gonna come over here. And this barbecue sauce is low carb. Got my yellow rice here, just finishing up. And here you have my boiled eggs that I'm gonna make my tuna with. And for right now, I haven't decided on the vegetables. I am gonna make a big salad bowl, put that in the refrigerator <coughs> to go along with the meals. To That helps to um, Fill, pe fill you up more so you don't have to eat as much. Okay. We're in progress. I'll let you see the meals once I have them all put together. Ta-ta for now. Okay. Good evening, everyone. It's been a rough kind of evening. <laughs> rough day with doing all of the groceries cleaning cleaning up while I'm putting things away prepping all of this food as you can see here I have my meals some of them you can see some of them here put up some and this is the tuna salad eggs are right there I don't have very many of those after cooking them I realized I was gonna put a lot in the tuna still gotta make my salad and yes, the game has started already. So, <laughs> needless to say, I'm not going to be, I'm not sitting down now for the game, but I have got my meals done and put way and some out here I still got to do. But it's, it's about 640 so I'm making good time. I just got to finish putting this away. I made some wings. Give me a second here. I'm going to turn around in the oven here. I made some wings for the boys to have for the game. And that's going to be it for today. Here's my, my rug I told you I bought. Yeah, I haven't mopped or swept the floor yet. I'm one of those people that was brought up on, I'm not showing my face because it's a little messy right now. I'm hot and tired. But I was going to say, I um, was brought up with that you, at night, once you finish your dinner and you clean up the kitchen, you mop your floor. So... Yes, I was brought up a country girl. <laughs> no, that's just the norm for most people, I think. That's my barbecue chicken, some mixed vegetables, and yellow rice. And here's my tuna salad. I'm getting ready to mix all up and put it in the fridge. Okay, guys, we'll see you in the morning for the Deb and Will Real Talk Show. And I'll do some vlogging after the show as well. Take care and enjoy the game. Go Rams. Bye-bye. Oh, boy. Well, I think I'm done. The hubby's eating. And, yes, we're watching the game. I still... Need to do a few things before I'm ready for bed, of course, but at least I'm sitting down relaxing. We're going to chat all over um, 
what we're going to talk about in the morning. So please don't forget to tune in or watch on our YouTube. Um, this is not live, so you can watch it later. But like, comment, subscribe to my channel, to our channel. Check out our live things, our blogging. As I promised, we are vlogging more this year. So stay tuned. Good night, folks. Yay, Rams. Yay, football. Yay, Rams. Good morning, everyone. It's another day. See my little streaks in my hair. I'm on my way to work. This is my late day, so I don't go in until about 11. I get to uh, spend the morning with my hubby doing the show and um, we just finished the real talk with Deb and Will be sure to check that out because we have some good tips on there for marriages um, when it comes to legal advice and um, also um, about our new camera system that we got for our home um, the ring doorbell which is a very inexpensive way to secure your home and your neighborhood because I had no idea that when you um, sign up for this and you buy it um, and you go online and set it all up and, it, and, and it's about $30 a year to have the whole system that that we have um, that you get to talk to your neighbors any neighbors that are on this group and they have the ring system um and anything is happening in the neighbor it's it like i said it's the new it is the new uh neighborhood watch you can be online with your neighbors and know if they see somebody suspicious in the neighborhood they can update you and if you know you see something you can comment and update them and um, if anybody comes up to your house it's motion sensitive and it will uh, let you know that someone is coming to the door now what is kind of annoying is anytime you leave or come home you know it comes on and it notifies you but I don't mind that little bit of a problem because it's to, to have the safety we had an issue with someone taking um, we got a, a, a free gift from when we bought new phones at Christmas time and they sent the gift and they when they dropped it off and we got home and it wasn't there so even the police suggested that we get this system and it is awesome and it's less than two hundred dollars and uh, like I said, if you want to have the yearly hookup on it, it is uh, $30 a year, which is very inexpensive. No, you don't have anybody calling, you know, they don't monitor and, and have a monitoring service, you know, that's calling you to check and see and stuff like that. You are able, if somebody walks up to your door and they um, are there, and you're at work per se or somewhere else you can talk to them and ask them what are you doing why are you there you know and they don't know if you're in the house or if you're not in the house so it works out well I like it I like it a lot and I would recommend that you get it well I'm doing good on my time for work I'm on my way to work like I said and I'm um, about 30 minutes early so looking forward to this week as I you saw I posted I did my meal prep yesterday got up and did me some exercising today I did something a little different normally I walk every day 
not every day, but every other day or so. And um, I do every day pretty much at work. But um, in the mornings, I walk every other day. So I uh, got up and I did Walk Away the Pounds by Leslie Sanson. I haven't done that in years, but they have it on YouTube now. So I uh, got up and I did that and they have a, it has a section for one mile, two mile and three miles. So it's pretty cool. And um, that was my morning. And I lived probably about 10 minutes away from work. I will get there in time enough to make probably a pot of coffee in. If it's not, not already made, a lot of times because everybody else is there before me on Mondays, coffee's made. But I have my own coffee already. I'm in a relationship with coffee, okay? And it's another gloomy day today. What is up with this Florida sun? Where is my sun? We live in the sunshine state. Come on. But um, it, it looks wintry. So I can understand how people in the north that live in like Pittsburgh, Chicago, and stuff when it's, it's like this for like three months. I can see how you can get depressed. It's really awful to be. And I grew up in the Sunshine State, so I'm kind of into the sun. I love it. Um, and my niece mentioned the other day, if anybody says anything about how hot it is this summer, they need to shut up. Don't say anything. Because we have had a real winter here in Florida this year. So, well... I'm gonna cut this off right now. I'm more than halfway at work and I will probably catch you all on my lunch break which will be around 3 o'clock 3.30 or so. Ta-ta for now. headset. Good afternoon. This is a Debbie lunch day break. I haven't um, vlogged <laughs> um, any lunch breaks this week. And um, I apologize, but I was busy most, some of those uh, days. And then if I happen to have any guests out here on my private patio, I have to kind of not do it or find somewhere else to go. I think I'm falling in love with my glasses. I know I said I was kind of hesitant about them, but I think I'm liking them now. But um, I just finished, I only did 20 minutes of walking today at lunchtime. I've been kind of I know every time I come on, I always try to encourage you guys and, and be, you know, positive and everything like that. But this week has been hard for some reason. Um, I don't know. Just having a blah kind of week. I haven't, and, and it may be because I haven't been walking in the mornings. Usually when I walk in the mornings every day, I come in and I'm charged up and everything. And I've been doing my walking at lunchtime because I just haven't felt like getting up in the mornings and it's just been a blah week. I don't know. I think maybe because I've been not eating right. It has a lot to do with it. I haven't been been in, eating a whole lot of junk food or anything like that but I just haven't been getting my veggies in and being diligent with everything. So um, I'm fasting today, um, fasting and praying and um, 
just want to take the focus off of food. And that helps a lot sometimes when you when you don't have to think about, you know, how many carbs and calories and all. You get tired of that stuff. So I just, I just choose to not eat. <laughs> it makes it so much easier. And I know some of you out there are going to say, well, you got to eat because that can't help you lose the weight and blah, blah, blah. And that, not in my case. It just... Everybody's different, so let's just stay in our lanes. But, uh, yeah, just been a, a blah week. And I don't really have much to talk about. So this is going to be a boring kind of vlog. But I did a lot of vlogging on Sunday. Got a lot of treats, so you'll see all of that on here. And um, probably this weekend I'm going to do a lot because I, I want to do some yard work and different things. I want to be really active this weekend. So you can hear the birds singing. It's a very beautiful day here. I'm going to turn you around here. It's a beautiful Florida day. So nice to be out here and listen to the birds sing and of course I'm working on my um, journal and journaling but it's just been a kind of average week but happy to be healthy and alive this is gonna be the end of the vlog for the week and we'll, I'll be posting this tonight Remember to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Let me get some numbers up there for we we have uh, increased by like three in the last week. So I think vlogging is what people like. So love you guys. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day.